Okay, hi, a question I get asked all the time is how to mix your ground bait, okay? I know it seems straightforward to a lot of you, but I still see so many people on the bank mixing the ground bait and not really doing it right, getting it wrong. So I'm just gonna give you a quick guide on how to mix it. What I've got is I've got a mix that I use on rivers and lakes and things like that for silverfish here. I've just got a bit of super crumb lake and a little bit of black. So my chosen ground bait is the lake. Now I like to use sort of one lake to a half of black. So I'm just gonna put in here one portion of the lake and one half, a, half the same amount of the black. That's absolutely great. Smells like that does. Now, a lot of people then put the water in and start mixing it up. Don't do that. If you're gonna mix two ground baits together, get your hand in with the dry ingredients and really mix them around. When you've wetted your ground bait, if they're coming up a different way, you can't get your ground baits to blend properly. So just mix them around whilst they're dry in the bucket, and that way you get a really good blend of all the ingredients. Now, add in the water. You really need to think about it when you're adding the water. I see so many people with the ground bait way too dry. And that's because they add a little bit of water, and they think it's about right, and then they're done. So the first thing is to make sure you leave a full hour before you're gonna use the ground bait. I tend to do it as soon as I get onto the bank and the peg, I get some water from the river or the lake and I use that ground bait, I use that water even to mix the ground bait. As long as it's got a full hour, that's what you need. When you mix it up and it's not got that time, it dries out while you're fishing and it's wrong, it changes. It doesn't work in the same way to which when you started your match or your session of fishing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water in and I'm always looking myself to make the mix that little bit too wet. So I add the water in, okay. Just mixing that around, just with my hand. You know, if you've got a fancy drill, then great, but old-fashioned hand is no problem. And I've just mixed that up, and I've mixed that to, like, an over-wet consistency. You can see there it's a little bit too wet, all right? And a lot of people won't push it that far. I'm not asking you to mix it to a slop, just to the point where you think it's a little bit too wet, all right? Where And that's what I would say you need to be able to, if you can grab it in your hand and it starts to come through your fingers when you squeeze it, that's a really good sort of suggestion on what is too wet. And I can already see this is drying out, all right? This is already taking in the water. So I like to try and get it to that consistency of being too wet while I'm doing it now. So just added a little bit more water in there and that's great. Now it's gone to what I'd say looks like an almost ruined ground bait. But what I've done, there you go, if I squeeze it, look, between my fingers, it's coming through my fingers. You can see there it's a little bit too wet. And I'm just gonna leave this now, okay? I'm just gonna leave this to stand for probably 30 minutes or so and all that water will be absorbed then into the ground bait, okay? So I've had left this ground bait now for a good 30 minutes or so and it's really come round. It's like a normal fluffy sort of consistency now of ground bait, which is absolutely what I wanted. I want a ground bait that basically gets down to the bottom of where I'm fishing. That's what you're trying to achieve with 99% of your fishing when you're using ground bait. Unless you're using a sloppy ground bait up in the water. But this is just for your basic ground bait mixes, okay? Now the trouble is, because I've put all this water in the ground bait all in one go, I've got odd little bits where there's a little bit of water built up too much and there's a few lumps in it. I'm not really too bothered about that, but I've noticed when I squeeze it in a ball, you get a different breakdown in your ground bait unless you break those lumps up. You'll end up with big claggy lumps on the bottom, which I don't think's right. I like a nice carpet of ground bait on the bottom. So all I've done is I've got my riddle here. A riddle is a must in my opinion, all right? And I've just tipped that ground bait with all the lumps onto the riddle there, and I'm just gonna give it a gentle push through the riddle. It doesn't take long, you don't have to really push it hard or anything like that, because it's absorbed all that water, and because the mix is really nice, it's a lot of bread in the mix, which is lovely for a nice breakdown. Ingredients that fish really do eat, which is so important when you're fishing with ground bait. Smells great as well. <laughs> Really can smell that. So just pushing that through there, and you can see there, there's a few like lumpy bits in from the mix. 
And I'm just going to get rid of them. I'm not too worried about them, but there's hardly any. Look, hardly any at all. 99%. I do see a lot of people just shaking it and throwing the rest away. I, I don't understand that at all. I really push everything through. And it's only if there's an odd big seed or something like that that I just get rid of for consistency. And that's the finished mix. An absolutely fantastic mix there. Really, really smooth all, all the way through. When I mold it into a ball for throwing or cupping in, I know I'm going to get it going and give me an even breakdown on the bottom. Absolutely perfect.